hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome if you are a recurring subscriber welcome back so today is sunday and i pretty much have some leftovers so now i'm just going to be i have some fish here which are porgies um they're soaking with lime and like a cap full of vinegar the lime is basically to um kill any bacteria that's on the fish and take away that raw smell and taste um so yeah that's about it as you can see i'm giving the fish some slits because after i finish letting it soak and clean and it's to my liking i'm going to season and fry so stay tuned so welcome back guys so right now um, what i'm doing is patting the fish dry Excuse me, that was a seasoning that fell. Patting the fish dry inside. Because once you season it, you don't want any water once it goes into the oil. Splashing all over the place. Making a big mess that you got to clean up. And you might get burned. So, that's a double hazard. Okay, so I'm going to start off with onion powder. If it'll open. Yeah, here we go. So you sprinkle liberally. Get into those slits so the seasoning goes into there. Get the inside of the fish as well. And you can eyeball this. It's not a set amount when it comes to fish. It's to your taste, to your desired taste. Me, I like well-seasoned food. I don't like bland food. I like to taste it and enjoy it. So, that's onion powder. I'm going to use a little black pepper. I know you guys probably see some people, um, you know, when they're prepping their food to each his own. And I'm not knocking anybody that they use gloves. Me, on the other hand, I don't prefer to use gloves because it just feels weird. I've been cooking like this all my life, basically. And, uh, yeah. So, no. I'm not using gloves. I'm going to go in now with some paprika. Season, get into those slits. <coughs> Excuse me. And my hands are clean. I'm not ever touching food without when my hands are dirty. Now I'm going to go in with my adobo, all-purpose seasoning. Quick 
sprinkle. And you notice that I use this. I don't use any additional salt. Everything else is just the seasoning, whatever I'm using itself. I don't like to use a lot of salt. It, it um, kills the flavor, the natural flavor of the food itself. This is garlic and parsley. And lastly, I'm going to go in with some turmeric. Just a light sprinkle on both sides, inside. And these fish are porgies, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. I just said fish. But they are porgies. These are my fish of choice. You can basically use snapper, whatever you prefer to eat. When it comes to frying fish, this is my go-to fish. This is snapper, red snapper. Happen to be two of my favorites. Okay, so they are all seasoned. Push the seasoning in. Really want it to have a good flavor. So I'm going to let this marinate about a half an hour or so. I'm not going to cook right away. I want this seasoning to go through the fish. I'm going to wash my hands. Clean this up. And I'll be back when I'm ready to fry. Just to show you how it looks. Nice and seasoned. See you guys soon. Okay guys, so welcome back. At this point now, I'm... Okay guys, so right now I have some oil heating up in a pan to fry the fish, as you can see. And what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to infuse the oil. I'm going to add some rosemary which is gonna give the oil a nice flavor and it's gonna flavor the fish as well. And I'm gonna smash two cloves of garlic, turn on this fire, let that infuse. I smash two cloves of garlic and I'm gonna put that in the oil as well. And this gives the fish a nice, nice flavor, trust me. So while this heats up, I'll let the oil come up to temperature and then I'll stop frying the fish. Smells wonderful already. Very aromatic. There's probably some oil or something, maybe frost, because I had this in the refrigerator. In the refrigerator, should I say? There's probably some oils. There's probably oils or condensation of some sort. This is where this pocket is coming from. Okay. So I have my seasoned fish.
going to get like a medium size one. smells so good guys you gotta be here so I'll bring you guys back once they're done and let you see how they look and taste talk to you soon okay guys so this is the finished product this is what it looks like um, I made eight fish and this is what's left it was delicious nonetheless tasty so until next time so if you um, like this video give it a big thumbs up don't forget to comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video bye for now